Good to see you. Hi, folks. How are we doing? Uh, this is going to be a beer couple because there's a girl right here that I do stuff with sexually <laughs> and on an emotional level. <laughs> she would be my girlfriend. Uh, and we decided that we wanted to do a blog or a vlog, whatever you internet people want to call it. Um, so what we're going to be doing is basically getting on camera and trying to amuse you and also educate or and just tell you what we like for beers. So since this is the first one that we're going to be doing, this is going to be a great beer that I'm very excited to try to, to try in front of you guys. Um, I know Lisa's been excited about it. It is Dogfish Head Noble Rot, which is a wine slash beer hybrid. Uh, what I like about it is it brings two worlds together. It brings the yin and the yang together. Just like us. Absolutely. Left, right, you know, one side, the other side coming together. The snowboarders and the skiers in harmony. Uh, once again, wine and beer people can sit down and try to enjoy this together. Um, we just opened the bottle. You just saw it. Uh, you can see what it looks like. It's very light. I will stem it for you. It's more light than I was expecting. It's very light. Uh, the smell of it, great. It has grape. The grapes, a little bitter. How about yourself? What do you think? It's very grapey. 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 Um, when I tasted it, I figured a person that would enjoy Chardonnay would actually probably like this. It's crisp. Uh, a bit dry, not as much as most Chardonnays, but obviously it has uh, better carbonation to it. Uh, very flavorful. Um, very drinkable, as Bud and Bud Light would like you to think. That's a word. Drinkable. That's fine. Uh, the aroma, also dry. Little pear. And I, I don't drink wine, so I'm not really sure how it works with wines. It's all Tom. But I think it's really tart, and it has kind of a sour taste to it. Um, if you like sour beers or lambics or anything like that, then you're probably going to like it. Though he's right, it is more dry. It's not like a juicy sour. No, not at all. But it's good. I like the idea. Um, I think they, as a company and as a brewery, have always done a great job putting stuff together you wouldn't expect. And this is one of those things that I've talked to a lot of people about. Um, even well, people that usually think Dogfish Head sometimes goes way over the line and their stuff is weird. I have always, very rarely have they missed to me, but I like different flavors for sure. And this is one that I think will be, people will actually like for sure. And they'll come down and drink it. See now, is this actually... A wine hybrid, is it made with wine yeast? 51%, uh, I think it's 51% barley, 49% grape. Actually, the bottle, I think, tells you. Let's look. Well, I just find that very interesting because I know it's a big ta-da where, like, wineries get really nervous about people who work in breweries coming Well, that's in. because of the bread, and there's no bread in this. Well, the... Yeah, can it like screw up their wine batches? Yeah, wine it would, but this is not in the same circumstance as oh, that. Okay. So you wouldn't have that problem. It doesn't well, say, but it's definitely from what I've read, a fifty one to forty nine percent grape to barley mixture. Uh definitely we'll not an expert on it, but it's very good. Oh, yeah. Look it up yourself. Well okay, you can look it up yourself. Or I use will the look internet. When we Don't be lazy. This. Don't be making And lazy. I will try to either confirm Tom's percentages or give you the correct percentages, whatever. I'm brilliant. It's fine. Yeah. Don't even worry about it. It's going to be great. Anyways, so there you go. Something else I'm going to try to do with some of these that I came up with the other day is everybody likes to pair beer with something, whether it be food, chocolate, or something else. I am a huge fan of post-rock and or just all-around music. What I'm going to be doing uh, as well is trying to post a beer, craft beer with a craft music situation. Hopefully next time I'll have a beer and an album I think go together well. Well, we could just put the album in when we put the post in. It's fine. Yeah. I don't think I have an album for this Noble Rock, but I'll figure one out. But I have a sweet one coming up, so hopefully if anybody watches this, which is 
awesome boy. So go to well, we hope you watch it. Hopefully. Maybe not. And Maybe you're going to vomit all over yourself. If we don't you even know. watch it and you like it, you come back. We're going to keep doing these. And give us hints. If we're totally terrible, just let us know. It's yeah. Totally fine. If, if we're just you think, terrible, you're like, you guys are awful. Either like fix it that. or get off the internet. Right. One or the other. We don't want to waste our time if nobody. True. If you're like, I mean, we're going to drink the beer Bleh. whether you like this or not. That's exactly right. But we just thought it'd be cool since we're drinking it anyways, we would share our experience. Absolutely, absolutely. And, you know, no, I'm not an expert, but I've definitely tossed a few back and have paid attention to what's going on, and I know there's plenty of geeks out there that do the same, and if this is something that you want to watch and or be part of and let us know about it, that'd be great as well. And I will also, if this um, starts taking off, I have plans to put a form spring up, which is a way that you can ask us questions, and um, maybe in the future we can address some of those sure. questions, whether if you have beer questions, Tom can probably answer them, or just general, like... Life stuff. Hey, yeah. If you have a question about life, you let me know. And we have it's a little bit about us. talk can get through. And we have a little bit about each of us um, up at the top. There's an about him and about her, and we'll be adding more information to that as time goes on. We're sitting on a deliciously 70s couch, by the way. I love that couch. That. This is my couch. Whew. And our backgrounds will change, probably, depending on... Who knows? Maybe this is our background for the rest of it. Who knows? Or if we have a really lazy day and I don't want to get off the living room couch and come to the office couch. Happens every day. It's terrible. So, there we are. So, Noble Rot, delicious. You should try it. Wine or beer, doesn't even matter. Just go out there, buy a bottle, and uh, pour it up and see what you think and let us know. Mm -hmm. All right? Lovely. And um, come back to Living on a Beer Budget. Lisa, Tom, Living on a Beer Budget. Lovely. Come back. Thanks. Okay.